If you were to go to Hogwarts, how would you have spent your first day? Meet new students? Attend lectures? A dueling? That would be quite interesting. Or screw all of that, we're in Hogwarts, baby, let's just wander around. Or you know what? Pet a cat. You see, when I think about Hogwarts, I think of all sorts of weird magical things. Like, such as speaking. Joy to be in the presence of such arrogance. Tea! That literally nobody brewed. Pictures moving and speaking. Or pages magically flying out of the book. Like, how everyone is supposed to be just okay with it. Or you know what? Screw all of that and pet a cat. 15. Oops, stepping on a... There's a... It's black, anyway. But when you take into consideration that you will be joining as a fifth year, your priorities kind of tend to change a bit. So sitting around isn't gonna be the option in pages of the book that just flew away. And Madam Weasley said it very wisely. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Before we jump into the gameplay part, I want to ask you a huge favor. Please subscribe and like the video. It's a new channel and it's gonna help me a ton. After the night of feast and sorting ceremony, Next morning, you will be in your dorm room of whichever house you chose. In my case, it was Gryffindor. I'm looking forward to it. I remember the first time I entered the Gryffindor common room after being sorted. You were a Gryffindor? I am a Gryffindor. Never could remember the password when I was a girl, however. Password? Password? The password is Grata Domum. Grata Domum? You may enter. Well done. We kick off the first act of the story by doing a bunch of story-related stuff. And to start the day in that iconic dorm room, man, that brings back memories. So as we are a new series, in case anyone missed, we go around meeting new students, the ones we are told to interact by the game at least. Gareth Weasley, he has a knack of brewing butterbeer. Well, his magical renditions of it. Cressida Bloom, she's practicing her non-verbal cast. Nally Oxpire, the most eccentric out of all. I mean, come on, climbing a Gryffindor tower from outside, and that also, without broom? Well, damn. After communicating with the students, we do get to know one thing. Everyone is aware of our dragon escape endeavor, but they know only the dragon part, nothing else. And now we begin our day with Professor Weasley, who hands us that, that book, Book of Flying Pages. A wizard's guide, they call it. After a brief tour of Hogwarts Castle and a bit of instructions and whatnot, we attend the charms class. Shall we begin? <laughs> Man, he certainly is a character. I mean, look at him. I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right? Well, we do learn so many charm and even get a good practice session with the game of Pull the Balls. Ah, uh, uh, this game, God, that sounded wrong. But more important thing than learning charm and the balls game was meeting this character. Natsai Onai, a girl from Wagadu. It is really poetic how some characters that we meet just like that leave a deep mark upon us. She's gonna be a crucial character, and the one with a very interesting and tragic story. And fun fact that nobody asked, no one uses wand in Wagadu. First Cressida with her non-verbal incantation, now Natsai with no wand magic. Too much lore. If you get bored in class, pet a cat. And now comes the defense against the Dark Arts class. Is that all you've got? Yeah. Meet Professor Hackett. She likes her Hebridean skeleton more than her students. Oh, oh she's the one saying that. Hackett, perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces on your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. Jokes apart, but when she says things, you can tell that the more experienced and how much ever old you are is oozing out of those words. Whatever we learn, the best way to practice is by dueling. Change my mind in comments. Or if you prefer... We meet Sebastian Salo. And I kid you not, his story is more interesting than the whole main story of this game. Again, change my mind or this time agree with me in comments. You see, the game is about experiencing the world of Hogwarts. So what better way than exploring the world and going to iconic places such as Gringotts, Hogsmeade, Diagon Alley, 
or diagonally. As yeah, some of you may remember. And way we go to Hogsmeade in the next video. Subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss it. So let me know in the comments how would you have spent your first day. I, I really want to know how quirky someone's mind can be. And click here for the previous Hogwarts Legacy video and here for the entire playlist of Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Don't have a good day. Have a great day. Bye.